Hello, Planet Watchers. Good afternoon to everybody. Now, this is a special uh, session because last week has been very intense and probably even very confusing to many of you. So let me try to recap. The manufacturer of one of our approved devices, Aware Element, has unilaterally terminated the agreement under which they were providing Planet Watch with the service needed to retrieve data streams from the sensors. We already issued a statement explaining why we believe they are in breach of contract and all their claims are baseless. Now, let me be a bit blunt. I don't want to waste any additional time today discussing this. So what I'm going to do today? The thing is the following. On one hand, Planet Watch as a company will internally evaluate options in dealing with Aware as a company in connection with our legal advisors. And that's one thing. But my goal today is different, is to discuss and disclose a plan that we are building to protect the Planet Watch network and the community. So that's what I, that's my focus today. And so let's recap what's been doing, what we've been doing in this respect. So when we got the news that the, the contract had been terminated, we set up, we reacted fast. I mean, we set up a contingency plan and we leveraged a tool which was developed very fast by our developer community. That was very, very strong, a very impressive reaction. The tool worked, but in fact, we realize now that we, we need a more sustainable, more long-term solution. So I would say we are coming to the end of the contingency plan. We're moving into the next step now in what we, in our reaction in dealing with the problem. Now, so as of today, I think we need to take a very drastic decision. We, we have decided that element is no longer a Planet Watch compliant device. So we are no longer taking data from aware element. So effective April 7th, 2 a.m. CT, data sent by the community tool will no longer reach Planet Watch, which means you no longer really need to run the tool. As for the device itself, it's up to you to decide if you keep it on because you want to use your data for your internal purposes. As I said several times, it's, it's a good device. So you have it in your house, you can decide what you do with it. You can use it and leverage it, but it's not going to be a Planet Watch supported devices anymore. So incidentally, if you are considering today whether you want to buy an aware element and your main purpose is to connect it to Planet Watch, obviously you should not do it because it's no longer considered a Planet Watch supported device. Now, this is a drastic decision, but we evaluated all the pros and cons, all the circumstances, including the fact that also the onboarding tool, the Planet Watch onboarding tools for these devices has been blocked. So we believe it makes sense to take such a decision. Having said that, I could say we are facing out our element as a device, but we certainly don't want to face out the community behind it. So devices are devices, but the heart of the project is the community. So we want to safeguard, we're building a plan to safeguard element sensor owners. So what can we do? And that's the beginning of what I call a midterm plan for, for, for the next 30 days. So in the, we can do immediately the following. So we have three communities, I would say, which are most affected by this issue. First community is people who currently have a connected aware element sensor. So the network, uh, the current uh, device is connected to Planet Watch with a license, etc. So these people will keep receiving 5.4 planets per day. And it's important to emphasize that these this, uh, funds, these uh, tokens are funded by Planet Watch as a company. So they're not funded by the white paper. It's not the rewards budget. It's, it's our own company wallet. So let me say we are owning the issue. We are taking responsibility for the situation and we're putting the wallet where the mouth is, as they say. The second community is those who have a, an element sensor but don't have a license and they submitted a ticket within the, the time frame that we prescribed uh, and submitted documents to 
for us to request to process the request to, to obtain a license. And there is yet another community, which is people who do have an element sensor as well as a type for license, but could not complete the onboarding. Now, for this communities two and three, we are still, and we need more time, reviewing your tickets and the documents that you submitted. So once this exercise is completed, if you qualify with the requirements that we set forth, you'll be receiving as well 5.4 planets per day retroactively from today, but only as soon as all checks are completed, because we need to check that you submit documentation and that your uh, papers are in order, let's say. So what I mean by this is that we are uh, putting a budget to ensure that in terms of a uh, planet's rewards, you are covered. You will see no difference with respect to the, the, the perfect functioning of the device. And this is not, of course, rewards for data because the device is no longer Planet Watch compliant. It is rewards given by the company as a token of gratitude for your commitment and your uh, continuing support. Okay. Now, the good news in our midterm plan is that at this point, we believe it makes sense to reopen type four license sales as of next week, but obviously that would only apply to Atmotube Pro devices because as of today, the only Planet Watch compliant type four device is Atmotube Pro. So we'll give you the details next week. We are trying to make the process as smooth as possible. And then what next? I was talking about the 30 day time frame. So we're, we're going to take these 30 days to optimize our long term plan. And again, the, what is the goal is to give a follow up plan for people which were affected by these uh, issues. So we will do our best to incentivize them to remain with Planet Watch and to benefit from the project. We have a number of things in mind, but I think we, we do need a few days to reflect on this, optimize it and then come forth with a proposal. So for the next 30 days, I would say you should consider you are covered by Planet Watch. Planet Watch is a company taking responsibility for your, let's say, protection. We are working night and day, I dare say, to find the best way out of this situation. In parallel, we are also working night and day on the main deliverables of the project, because you should not forget that I announced last week that we are making a significant process on data monetization. We have already concrete monetization for type one and type three sensors. We have a number of company priorities. We have a number of exciting things coming up. Uh, the state for the planet program, uh, which is a new use case for a planet enabling you to plant trees. There are lots of fun things in relation to that. Of course, all these exciting things are kind of uh, uh, obscured at the moment by this uh, crisis, because it is a crisis. It's a very bad situation that we are dealing with. So there's no point, I guess, today into talking about all the, all the exciting developments which are in the pipeline. We'll come back to that. But you should rest assured that uh, on one hand, we are covering for the people who are affected by this problem in terms of tokens. We are preparing a vision for the next step for these people. And in the meantime, we keep working 100% focused on the, on the mission of the company. And we are indeed making progress on that. So that's, uh, that's what it makes sense to tell you today, I would say. And uh, I hope you take it as a strong signal of commitment from this company towards the community. So we can phase out devices when it makes sense to do it. We don't want to make to phase out people, obviously. We are often saying that this is a network of sensors and people. And of course, the key, the founding element is the people themselves. Sensors are technologies. Technologies can change people. Trusted, trusted people, good people, committed people cannot be replaced as a piece of metal. So thank you very much for your commitment. Just to recap once again, we are providing the, the token, as I said, we are processing your requests. 
uh, it was a huge number of uh, tickets related to, to element, obviously, so it does take some time. But as soon as processing is completed, people who qualify for, uh, for the type of support I'm talking about will get it retroactively. So rest assured that nobody is going to be forgotten. Thank you very much and have a good day. Bye-bye.